G'day guys, welcome back to Supercoach with DR. For today's video, I'm going to take you through a quick pre-season injury update. I'm just going to focus on the Supercoach relevant players. I'm not going to really look at those blokes who no one is going to select in their teams. But what I will do is I will go through every side. We'll go through those relevant players, as I said. There has been a few articles that come out recently from the AFL website, the Herald Sun. I'm always looking at the different club websites and asking supporters from different clubs, you know, how their team's tracking. So uh, the information, I suppose, comes from a range of sources. But we'll start off, obviously, with the Adelaide Crows, Matty Crouch, he's actually had post-season arthroscopic surgery on his hip. Still in the rehab group, as it says there, but he's progressing well and he's looking to play one or both of the pre-season matches. And Wayne Miller, so he's a bit of an interesting selection. Some of us are looking to get in the back line. Personally, I'm not looking at him myself, but he's recovered from a stress foot fracture injury he had last year, and he is now in full training. So if you're worried about how he's tracking the pre-season, he's looking pretty good at the moment. Going to the Brisbane Lions, so this excites me a lot. Joey Danaher, he's fitted in seamlessly at the club. He's now training with the main group, fully fit at this stage of the season. We know that Brisbane have some really good medical staff down there and a really good history of, you know, people like Lincoln McCarthy, Grant Birchall getting these blokes back on the track. But he's in a really, really positive mind frame as well, I've heard, really enjoying the new lifestyle. So that's great. Cockatoo, he's also training well, enjoying the new lifestyle. Got a lot of respect from his new teammates. Apparently one of the Coleman boys was having a bit of trouble in the time trial. So we actually went back and completed the last lap with him. So that shows he's got a real team first approach and heard a bit of a whisper as well from a few people that are not really inside the club, but pretty close to the club. They think that he might be even getting a half back roll, running half back roll. So that'd be really interesting to see who goes in and out of that back line there. Because I thought our structure was pretty set last year with the players that we had. But it'll be really interesting to see. We know Witherden's gone, but he didn't play many games last year. So that'll be really interesting with Cocker too. But he's ready to rock and roll at this stage and should be right for round one, which is really exciting from a super coach point and a Brisbane Lions point, being a supporter myself. Uh, Paddy Cripps from Carlton, he's progressing well from his shoulder surgery last year, 95% of the training at this stage, and he's on a new training program. So I think they worked on endurance last year, but they've gone back, back sorry, to some strength conditioning, I think, this year. Uh, Doherty, he's got an ankle injury. He's due to resume training in a few weeks, and same as Brody Kemp, but he's coming back from that back injury. So will he get a game this year? I hope so, because he could be a nice rookie for us, because I know that he was rated highly as a youngster, but yeah, had some real trouble with injuries in the past, I know, so hopefully he's back to full fitness soon, that'd be good for us. Collingwood, so Jeremy Howe, he's obviously returning from very serious knee injury last year, he's currently on a modified program, but they're hoping that he'll be right for round one. The Bombers, well Ridley, he's managing his training loads at the moment, read that he was actually just on the exercise bike for a few days there, but he's on light duty, should be back with the main group soon, I think. And Heppel, he's actually still in doubt for round one. So it was looking like he was going pretty well at some stage, but he still hasn't recovered from that ankle surgery yet. He's managing his loads. And as I said, still actually unsure about when he's going to return fully and if he'll be right for round one. So I know that he's a pretty popular mid-price selection in the midfield for some teams. But with that news, yeah, I'd be pretty cautious. And maybe someone like a Haitley at the same price comes into play for you. Fremantle, so Sonny Walters, he's still having some troubles at the moment, hasn't returned to full training, had some ligament damage, I think, in the right foot from memory. The Suns, well, Matty Rao, this is a big man that uh, lots of us are going to start with this year, I think. He's recovering from shoulder surgery, sorry, at the moment, starting to increase his contact work, but they're going to play it safe with him. He's an absolute beast, loves his training, but they're just trying to hold him back a little bit, but he will increase his contact work, I think, coming up in the coming weeks. Rory Thompson, well, apparently he's still having a little bit of trouble with that knee and may not play in round one. So I'd sort of pegged him in for starting defensive, uh, I think it was my, he's in my mid five, my mid, uh, sorry, D5 or D6 at the moment. But Thompson at the moment, still not sure on. So just put a bit of a question mark next to him at the moment. And Hollands as well, he's on a modified training program and he's had a bit of a history of injury. So I wouldn't be selecting him as a starting pick at this stage unless he we see something yeah, amazing recovery from him. Uh, the Giants, no major injuries here. 21 of great note. Now, Paddy Dangerfield, the Cats say they're not too concerned as it says there, but I'm a little bit concerned now, particularly given his age. Apparently he had some trouble in the grand final as well. He was injured during the grand final and that's why he had a really low output. But he's getting treatment from a specialist in Adelaide at the moment and just watching from the sidelines. But not training with the main group is a major concern for me and I've actually got him out of my starting side. But if it's looking likely like he's really fit, Raring to go round one, he'll most likely come in for me. But at this stage, that does concern me. So he's currently out of my side. So that's really sort of messed around with my structure. 
Uh, Hawks, Sicily, we know he's got his knee. He's not going to play for the year. And this is the other bloke here. He's really interesting. Titch. I originally had him in my starting side, uh, version 2, which was about five minutes after I created my original side. He came straight, and I thought, look, I've got to start this bloke at his price. Look back at his history. I thought, yeah, that should be good. But he's still restricted from last season with his shoulder surgery. May not even be available to play at rounds one. So he has done a few interviews lately, and he said he's at about 95% just with his knee, or with his leg, sorry. Uh, but he's working on his strengthening. And as I said there, that's in his own words. His leg, sorry, is at 90%. So still 10% off with that leg. As I said, he was in my team, but now I'm avoiding him as a starting pick. So I think he'll be like a nice upgrade target for us. We can see how he goes maybe the first even month to five weeks, see if he really has recovered and he's back to full fitness. Um, and he could be one of those maybe four and premiums we could look to get at the start of the year. On the other hand as well, even not at full fitness, he can still dominate some games in um, regards to Supercoach scoring. So it's an interesting one for me, Titch, but given that report um, and hearing from Man himself, probably a no for a starting pick for me at this stage. Uh, the D's, well, Piggy, he's training well. No, he had some shoulder surgery and Ben Brown as well. No, he's injured last year. He's also in full training as well. So no concerns there at the D's from any major players. Cunnington, Zebel as well. They're both looking pretty good at the moment. So Zebel, he's fully fit, training with the main group at the moment. And Cunnington, he's training with the main group also and should be right for round one. So good news for North supporters there. The power again, no real, real sorry, relevant injuries. Fantasia skipping some sessions, but that's just to manage his workload and he actually did really well in the time trial. The Tigers, well, Basha Hooli, he's getting old. I don't know if he'll really be a popular selection. Either will Soldo, um, Wood Soldo, sorry, I don't think this year. But just to put a couple out there, still in the rehab group is Hooli as he recovers from his calf injury. I think that was sustained in the grand final. Soldo, he's out for the season, so it looks like Nank will be taking on that number one role. The Saints, well, Dan Hannabury, we hear this, you know, a lot, but he's now apparently really, really fit. Took out the time trial at the Saints, so that's great news for him, great news for supporters. Still with his history at that age, and no for a starting pick for me, but could be one of those mid-prices if, like, a Heppel doesn't go up or something happens to a couple of your other mid-prices you're looking at. You could look at someone like him, but personally not for me. And apparently Hunter Clark is also on a modified training schedule, but shouldn't be any concerns for anyone at this stage. Uh, the Swans, so there's a few players here. Buddy, he's recovering from his hamstring slash groin injury, completing some skills drills and increasing his running capacity. But uh, again, I'm not overly confident on him. And apparently Heaney's on the same sort of recovery time frame, but he's obviously recovering from an ankle. Uh, he's on the same track, as I said, and slowly increasing his running loads. I know he'll be a popular selection or could be a popular selection this year if you're not going someone like a danger field. But uh, yeah, that does have me concerned, and his history, again, does have me concerned. Apparently, Jordan Dawson, as well, is on a modified program. He's got some soreness at the back of his knee, but I don't think he's going to be an overly popular pick, to be honest, Dawson. Uh, West Coast, I've got Yo with osteitis pubis. Always pronounce that wrong. Uh, participating in some warm-ups and straight line running at this stage, and next week, apparently, he'll be building towards that change of direction. Still unsure, though, when he'll be fully fit and able to return. And Bulldogs, no major concerns with any Supercoach relevant players here. So good news for Doggy supporters. Going to be a lot of competition coming up at the Dogs this year. So look, I may have missed some players there, guys. As I said, I think I've covered most of the Supercoach relevant players, but if I've missed someone, please let me know down there in the comments section, just for my own benefit as well. Um, really appreciate all the comments. Thanks for the support as always, guys, and I'll see you soon in the next one. Cheers, bye.